folks, welcome to the Wild Man channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about squirrels. We're gonna talk about how to call squirrels in so you can hunt. Now, in New Brunswick, I know there's only two ways to bring a squirrel to you. Uh, the first way would be to climb up in your deer stand and try to be quiet long enough to sit and look for a white-tailed deer, and I guarantee you that a squirrel will appear from nowhere, sounding like a deer, running all over, so that you'd never hear a deer if there was one to hear. Uh, the other way, however, is to call squirrels. So I'm gonna show you real quick uh, how to make an inexpensive squirrel call that you can have in your pocket to use if you're out uh, there hunting squirrels. Uh, listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wild Man channel, we sure would appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, as always, we're looking for questions, comments, feedback, you know, whatever you got. Go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. We'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can on those. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a couple of squeaky toys from the dollar store. Love the dollar store. These are one dollar, okay? Now, just there are a couple different kinds. There's one with a higher pitch, and there's one with a lower pitch. Okay, so if you gray squirrels, lower pitch, red squirrels, higher pitch, okay? So here in uh, New Brunswick, I'm gonna wanna be uh, attracting the red squirrels. So if I'm not going to sit in my deer stand to attract the squirrel, I will build one of these. So we're gonna just cut this baby open because it's the little squeaker in here that I want to make my call, okay? So we'll open this up a little bit. Whoops, there he goes. Okay, and then uh, your dog can have this now or whatever. Actually, don't feed that to your dog, okay? Um, you're left inside with this little squeaker, okay? Now, what we're actually looking for is the little tiny squeaker part inside there, okay? And it's just, it's just setting in there. You just pull it out and get rid of this bulb, okay? Some guys actually will just use this. They'll keep this in their pocket and they'll try to, they'll try to mimic, mimic the squirrel with it. The problem with these squeakers this way is that they're, like, they, they sound out and in. So you got in and out, and you don't want that, okay? You only want this to be, to sound one way. So you just pull this out of here. And I said it was super easy, and now I can't get it to work. Right, so you just pop the squeaker part out. They're usually not even glued in, but this one's pretty rugged. Okay, fine, we'll do it my way. If you can't get it to just slide out, you can cut it out pretty easily, okay? And this little squeaker deal comes right out of there, okay? Now, I know some guys that can actually just use this tiny little squeaker and they just pop it in their mouth when they hunt. And they can make whatever sounds that they want by adjusting their mouth or whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure if I tried that, I'd suck that baby down my throat and we'd have another episode of Envy Wild Man Goes to the Hospital uh, instead of what we're trying to do. So just a little squeaker uh, from uh, any chew toy. You're gonna want a glue bottle. And what I did with this glue bottle is the, the little part that used to unscrew that uh, you'd put the glue out of, I just took that and cut it off right at the cover, okay? So I just trimmed it right off, so you're left with the glue bottle in a hole. This is gonna insert into that hole. Once you get it in there, you don't need it to be down even, but it can be, it's completely up to you. Then you wanna put the rest of the hot glue just to, to glue it to the cover, okay? So the idea is that you're gonna glue the little squeaky toy soundy thing to the cover of the glue bottle. Now we just give that a second to harden. Not long, it just takes a minute when you use hot glue. While you're waiting for that to dry, you can take a screw uh, or something and you're gonna to wanna to poke a hole in the glue bottle, <clears throat> something that you can just easily cover up with your thumb as you squeeze the bottle, okay? So this is what's kind of the key to this is you're gonna to wanna to be able to limit the airflow or allow air to enter from a different way besides the squeaker, okay? Once that's done, put that back on here, and you've basically just recreated what was inside the squeaky toy, except now you can control, like I can squeeze this, right? And there's almost no sound, right? Because I've got this other hole here. So I can make this only make a sound when I push it hard. And if I cover up the hole, it'll do a lot, right? So it'll, every, time I, every time I squeak it, or I can take my thumb off the hole and it almost does nothing, or I can make it do nothing, right? By just barely touching it. So if I'm gonna use this out in the woods, I pull this out of my pocket, I cover up this hole, and I can make it sound like, you can make it sound however you want to, like a little squirrel, right? And, or you can use it single-handedly 
and you can make it sound like a squirrel chitter chattering up in a tree. Now, it'll take a little practice because right now it sounds like a squeaky toy. Exactly the same way it sounded in the dollar store. Uh, but out in the woods, if you take this and you can just kind of just get used to covering up the hole and just, just, just tapping it, just, just a tiny bit. Right? So you can kind of get that feel for what the squirrels in your area are like. Um, but real simple, effective, easy squirrel call that you can make just with some little squeaky toys from the dollar store. The only reason that I put them into a bigger container, uh, like I said, is so that I can control the airflow and so that I can use, um, use my thumb to control how much, how loud or how soft or how many squeaks this does, okay? So, anyway. Uh, don't do a whole lot of squirrel hunting here in NB. Do more trapping than squirrel hunting. But uh, anyway, if you do some squirrel hunting, I hope this helps you out. And until next time, happy hunting from the NB Wildman channel.